Stuffed meats are perfect for special occasions. They look impressive, taste amazing, but more importantly, they are so simple to do. Pan on for the stuffing. It's a saddle of lamb, basically a sort of Rolls-Royce cut, perfectly shaped, and it suits stuffing to an absolute tea. For the stuffing, finely chop an onion. Garlic, nice thin slices. Oil in. Onions and garlic in. Just salt and pepper. Make sure the stuffing is beautifully seasoned so it helps to season the inside of the lamb. Now we've got the colour on those onions. We're going to throw in some pine nuts. And that helps to give a bit of a texture. Here's where it starts getting really exciting. Spinach in. And just lay the spinach over the pine nuts. It looks like a lot of spinach, but that's going to condense and disappear almost instantly. There's so much more flavour in spinach when you saute it, as opposed to steaming it or boiling it. Gas off, and look at that. Now, to bring that together, no eggs, no breadcrumbs, crumpled feta over the spinach. Feta cheese adds a beautifully salty, sharp and creamy flavour. What this does, it brings that stuffing together. Now, open up the lamb. Keep those little fillets to the side. That's the channel that we want to stuff. So I want to just open that up a little bit there. Salt and pepper, lightly. And before we put our stuffing in, we're going to season it with sumac. Sumac is a wonderful lemony spice that goes brilliantly with lamb. And you can get it in most big supermarkets. And it sort of cuts through that thick, rich sweetness of the lamb. Open up that lamb there. Take a spoon. If you're preparing this for the day ahead, then let the stuffing cool down. It's inevitable when you start rolling it and tying it, something's going to squeeze out. So load up the ends. Take these beauties, these little fillets, and just support that stuffing and sort of increase that beautiful tunnel. And then from there, over, there, and bring that towards you, and then roll. Like I said, some of the stuff is going to come out. Now, we'll tie it, first off, around the side. And don't worry about some flash butcher's knot. Just tie it. One in the middle. You can get butcher's string from your local butcher or at cookware shops. They go too tight. Go too tight, it just forces all that stuffing out of the lamb when it's in the oven. Nice. Now, we'll just season the top of it. Roll the joint to make sure all the skin gets seasoned. Now, you think normally that just goes in the oven like that. That's how my mum would do it, but get your tray onto the gas. Oil in. Get it really nicely coloured. None of your stuffing's coming out of the sides, really important. Look at that colour, beautiful. It does kickstart the roasting process. Gas off, into the oven. Cook for 45 to 55 minutes, depending on how pink you want your lamb. Lift the lamb out of the fat to rest. Resting it raised up in the tin will stop it cooking, but not cool it down too quickly, and means you won't lose any of those lovely juices. Next, I'm making a simple but sophisticated accompaniment for the lamb. Top and tail the cucumber. Peel it. Cut the cucumber into three. And just core. Taking out all that, it's just sort of watery, seedy, and it spoils the flavour. Slice the cucumber. Cucumber in. Really nice way of making a cheap and cheerful cucumber look glamorous. We're going to dress that cucumber with a nice, fresh yoghurt. A couple of tablespoons. Next, some fresh mint. Dress it. Touch of salt. Touch of pepper. And then pomegranate molasses. That just sweetens it up. Finish that with lemon. Mix that up. Lamb is rested. Carefully take off the string and then just gently Pull them back. Straight edge knife that's going to cut through that crispy fat on the outside instantly. I tied it purposely so I can get 
my portion control from the lines. Hold it nice and firmly. Look at your line where the string was and look. And this one is going to be amazing. Lay and down. Just in those two slices there, it proves that stuffing meats is for special occasions because that is a saddle of lamb at its absolute best. Stuffing meats and fish not only makes them look fantastic, it also gives them an extra added flavour dimension too. Once you've mastered the technique, you'll be able to turn out dishes that will guarantee you'll have an unforgettable feast. Yeah. Cooking's all about being bold and adventurous, and this dish is exciting because it's slowly cooked, and the longer it cooks, the more flavoursome it becomes. Marinating the lamb first. Chilies, we're going to use a mixture of red and green. Take off the tops and just slice in. Garlic, crushed. Don't worry about chopping these ultra fine, just get it in there. Cooking for up to three hours, everything sort of blends and almost sort of purees itself together. Smoked paprika, goes brilliantly well with the chilies. Two teaspoons in. A touch of dried oregano. Some little cumin seeds. The blend and the fragrance that they give out is extraordinary. They release a little oil as well and helps to tenderize the lamb. A touch of salt. Pepper. Cinnamon. That sort of sweetens up the lamb. Olive oil. Just a tablespoon, and the olive oil helps to sort of stick all those wonderful spices to the lamb. Jump in, just start really rubbing. At this stage, you can leave the lamb to marinate for anything from half an hour to overnight, allowing the spices to really penetrate the meat, giving amazing results when you tuck in. Delicious. Vegetables, carrots and onions, and that's it. Sliced. Secret of slicing, vegetables for braising, is not getting too thin. You slice the onions too thin, they burn. You've got that horrible char taste on that slow braised. Braising is just a chef's term that means cooking in liquid on a low heat, making the meat incredibly moist and beautifully tender. So the secret of braising is having a really nice, thick, durable pan. Get that nice and hot. Just a touch of olive oil. Lamb in, hold the bone, because you're in control then, into the pan. I want that white fat to start rendering, so it'll add more fat, therefore making it a lot more flavoursome as it braises. Chilies, cinnamon in, mix that up. And don't be scared, you're not burning this, you're sort of searing the lamb shanks, and this is the important part right at the very beginning. We're getting the colour on the lamb, which washes off as it braises in the oven, so be generous with that colour. Vegetables in. Wow. And then a couple of bay leaves. So now you lift the lamb up and get the lamb sat on top of the vegetables. Now, you glaze the pan with red wine. The glazing means that you're, you're cleaning the bottom of the pan and you're getting that amazing flavour washed off and lifted up into that sauce. It can really transform that dish. Always the glaze. Then bring to the boil and cook for about 10 minutes to reduce. The wine's reduced down by half. Now for the stock. Bring that stock back up to the ball and then into the oven. Now, don't cover it. When you cover it, all the condensation comes off the lid. Your lamb becomes grey. All this effort and that exciting spice gets washed away. No lid and into the oven for three hours. A slow cook on a low heat of 160 degrees gives the spices time to work and transform the meat so it's mouth-wateringly tender. Now, look at those out on to a plate. You can just see that meat sliding down. Juicy and incredibly tender. Grab it by the, the shank, roll them around that rich, delicious sauce. Look at that. You can get your sauce nice. Beautiful. Just get some mint. Don't chop it. Just pick that fresh mint and let it snow. And there you go, a very spicy, Delicious, melting in the mouth, lamb shank. Amazing. One of the secrets to slow cooking is to be robust. 
and really get stuck in. Big, bold flavors work brilliantly well. So don't be precious. This is gutsy cooking at its absolute best. These are lamb breasts, a beautiful cheap cut, and it's sort of tucked alongside the rib. They've been boned out, the skin has been taken off. I'm gonna roll them, stuff them, and braise them. Braising simply means cooking in liquid on a low heat, making the meat divinely tender. Now, open them up and give them a really good season. Season them both sides, inside and out. Really important. Doesn't look like a real weighty, dense cut of meat, but once it's beautifully slow braised, it's just like melting lamb. It's incredible. I'm going to season the breasts with some dried oregano. Put a heat in there, some chili flakes. Lemon zest. Put some amazing salted anchovies in there now. They almost melt inside the lamb. So the balance of flavors work beautifully. Now, pull it down towards you and roll that nice and tightly. That's what I'm looking for. String. We just need to tie them three times. One at each end and one in the middle. I fell in love with this dish years ago when I first started working in Paris because we had all the lamb in from the Pyrenees. The nice thing is, they can be done the day before. Pan on, olive oil in. Get that oil nice and hot. Lamb in. It's really important to get some nice color on there. Whilst they're browning, slice the onion. The lamb's gonna be cooking for two and a half hours. So don't slice the onions too thinly, otherwise they'll burn. Garlic, and leave whole. Got the color on them, look at that. Beautiful. Take them out, onions in and garlic. Straight in, lovely. That's the secret about slow braising. You never change pans. Why? All the goodness is in that one pan. A few chili seeds in there. Oregano, nice pinch. A little bit of lemon in there. I'm gonna do to the onions what I did to the lamb. Next, my capers. Fire them off. Get them exploding in the bottom of the pan. They get nice and crispy. Next, my black olives. Now, white wine. Mmm, bring that up to the boil. Deglazing the pan as well. A rinse in the bottom of that pan. And now the flavor in there is just extraordinary. Now, we add our tomatoes. Puncher those plum tomatoes. Then simply place the lamb breast back in the pot and remember to taste. Mm. That's nice. Lid on. Into the oven. 170. Two, two and a half hours, and forget about it. Oh, beautiful. All that has reduced down to this amazing, nice tomato sauce. And the lamb has kept its colour. Look at that. It's braised beautifully. Very carefully, get your little bits there. Slice off, pull off the little bits of string. This is why I get really excited. The secret is not to slice it too thinly. and smell the lemon. It's hard to believe when you slice through the center there that that is a very cheap cut of meat. I'm salivating. I love this. I mean, it's just incredible. Pick up the tomatoes and the olives and the onions. An amazing, rich sauce. Take your lamp and sort of just sit it on. It looks incredible. And that, for me, is why chefs get so excited with cheap cuts, because the end results are incredible. Delicious breast of lamb with lemon, anchovies, chili and oregano.